Welcome to Noah Star Course. This video will introduce you the brightness adjustment in Noah LCT. Double click to open Noah LCT software. Find user. Click and select the advanced synchronous system user login. Password is admin. Click brightness and enter the adjustment page. There are two modes of brightness adjustment in NOAA LCT, which are the manual adjustment and auto adjustment. The manual adjustment is mostly used for instant demands in rental applications. In manual adjustment, Dragging the bar will change the screen brightness instantly. There are two working modes as grayscale mode and contrast mode. In grayscale mode, the screen has a better grayscale performance during changing brightness, which is recommended for indoor screens in the low brightness working state. As the contrast mode keeps contrast better during changing brightness, which is recommended for outdoor screens in a high light working state. When finished, click Save to Hardware to save the settings in receiving cards. The auto adjustment is mostly used for fixed installation. In Auto Adjustment, click Wizard Settings. There are Advanced Adjustment Mode and Adjust by Light Sensor Mode. The Advanced Adjustment Mode is to set a timetable for different brightness values. The brightness values can be set as specific values or controlled by a light sensor. In the Adjust by Light Sensor mode, the screen brightness is only controlled by light sensor configuration. Because the Advanced Adjustment mode covers light sensor, so the video will show the light sensor configuration first. Before the software configuration, the light sensor should be physically connected to the controller the light sensor supports a direct connection to the M-Control 300 and M-Control 600. And for other controllers, an accessory named MFN 300 is needed. For more information, please refer to 05 multifunction card video. When the physical connection is down, Choose Adjust by Light Sensor and click Next to enter the configuration page. Enable the test mode and try to cover the sensor and click Refresh. Check if the environmental value is zero. Then expose it again and click Refresh to check if the light sensor detects the change successfully. Then enable the light sensor. Please note, in test mode, the screen brightness is changed instantly, but in working mode, the light sensor detects five times in five minutes before it changes the brightness for safety concerns. To change the default settings, you could right-click the monitor site, enter the brightness advanced settings, and change the detecting cycle and reading times. However, it is generally recommended to keep this setting and enable the brightness gradient change. To avoid losing brightness, control if the sensor fails. The software will change the brightness to 5% by default. Customers 
are unable to change the value by themselves. In the brainless mapping table, click Fast Section Division to set the corresponding screen brightness values to different ambient brightness values. We need to set both the maximum values and minimum values and how many sections between them. It is recommended to set 20 sections. For example, we can set 80% for maximum ambient brightness and 20% for minimum ambient brightness and 20 sections in between. Then click OK. Additionally, if you don't expect your screen to be too bright at night, we could set a night mode and the screen won't exceed a specific brightness value no matter what happens during the night time. Click Opening to open night mode. Click the green cross to set the starting time and ending time for the night period and the maximum screen brightness value in this period. For example, the night starts at 19 o'clock and ends at 6 o'clock. The screen brightness won't exceed 30%. Please note, the light sensor supports an offline working mode, which doesn't require the PC connected to achieve the auto adjustment. 1. If there are multiple controllers cascaded, the light sensor should connect it to the first controller or the MFN300 that connected to the first controller. 2. Night mode doesn't support offline mode. 3. Multiple screen configuration doesn't support offline mode. And that is the setting for the light sensor. Click Finish. In the Advanced Adjustment mode, click Add to add several starting time and the specific brightness value starting from then. It's supported to start the light sensor at some specific time as well. For instance, starting from 8, the screen keeps 40% brightness. Starting from 12, the screen brightness changes to 80%. And starting from zero, the screen brightness is adjusted by the environment brightness. Click Next. Check the light sensor and click Finish. After everything is configured, click Finish and click Save to save to the receiving card. What's more, if you want to use the offline mode, the controller itself needs a correct time setting. It is in Settings, Hardware Information page. Just click Set to set the time of the controller to the time of your PC. That's all for the brightness adjustment. Thanks for your time. See you next time.